Determining how to communicate effectively is a joint effort shared by both the deaf or hard of hearing individual and the hearing individual. Flexibility and creativity are key. Here are some tips on how you can understand and communicate with DHHDB individuals. Many thanks to the Pikes Peak Community Foundations for sponsoring this video message. First, understand the deaf and hard of hearing community is diverse and communication modes greatly vary. Inquire directly about preference of communication needs. Deaf and hard of hearing individuals may use any combination of lip reading and other communication methods such as sign language. Sign language is not universal and it varies internationally and regionally. ASL is not English on the hands. Hearing aids and cochlear implants do not restore hearing to normal. Though some users can use a telephone or recognize music, others are only able to pick up on environmental sounds. It is important to remember that these devices do not enable deaf individuals to hear at normal hearing levels. Tactile communication translates visual and auditory communication into the hands and other parts of the body. Speech reading is an effective but acquired skill. Not all deaf and hard of hearing people are comfortable communicating in this manner. Speech reading is not simple or highly accurate. Only about 30% of English speech sounds are visible on the mouth under the best condition. Do you ask the person their preferred method of communication? Speak clearly and at a normal place. Do not yell or over enunciate. Do look directly at the individual while speaking and maintain eye contact. Do not expect the individual to lip read a conversation with complete accuracy. Do not cover your mouth or mumble. Other factors to keep in mind are residual hearing, facial hair, accents, and the unawareness of the topic during discussions. Effective visual communication relies on user-friendly settings. Consider how the following factors influence communication. Do try to eliminate distracting sounds by turning down or muting stereos or TVs or relocating to a quieter setting if possible. Do face the person and make eye contact while speaking. Do not walk and talk. Do position yourself where you can be lip read and or heard. Within the normal range of spatial proximity, three feet. Do not speak behind the person. Do ensure decent lighting. Do not stand in front of the sun or a bright light source. Visual communication requires full concentration of one activity at a time. Multitasking, such as listening to your teacher while taking notes, is not a viable request. Timing is crucial for efficient communication. Do get the attention of the deaf individual before speaking. If the individual does not respond to the spoken name, a tap on the shoulder, a flicker of the lights, or another visual cue is appropriate. Be aware of the number of speakers and pace of conversation. Do allow one speaker at a time. In group settings, do establish turn-taking rules. Do distribute written copies of verbal announcements. The nature of interpreting English to ASL and vice versa results in a slight delay of the message. When working with an interpreter, allow time for the interpretation to be completed before moving on to the next topic. Repetition is often necessary. When you are asked to repeat, please be patient. You may be asked to repeat by using the exact wording or rephrase by using different wording to express the same meaning. Include deaf and hard of hearing individuals as much as possible. Telling a deaf and hard of hearing person, never mind, or I'll tell you later, alienates them and gives them the impression that they're not important. Respect communication preferences. 
Remember that the use of speech is a choice to a deaf or hard of hearing individual. Remember that facial expressions and body language tell a great deal. Make sure your visual messages match your spoken and signed ones. Speak directly to the deaf or hard of hearing person. When using the services of an interpreter, avoid phrases such as tell him, tell her, Speak naturally as if the interpreter was not there. Learn some basic words and sign language, please. Thank you. Your name. There are several ASL apps available online. For example, ASL Connect. Interpreting services, VRS and VRI are often provided when available. Convo, Global, Purple, Sorison, and C are among many of the options. Local interpreting services such as Sign Language Network is also available. Closed captioning for videos and remote cart. There's printed communication cards and visual tubes. You can use paper, pen, a dry erase board, or a device such as a smartphone. There are several apps for speech to text, including Ava, Google Live Transcribe, Microsoft Translator, Otter AI, and Web Captioner. Apps for typing back include Apple Notes, Big Note, Cardzilla, Google Keep, Source and Buzz Cards, and Make It Big, which is recommended for deafblind. Do you identify as a DHHDB person? Do you think there are other tips to share? Please do not hesitate to reach out.